Welcome back everyone to the Weekly Wrap Up. I'm your host Alexis Knapp. This week on Project Lore, Dorkins continued his misadventures in the Howling Fjord and the entire team delved deeper into Utgard Keep. On soloing, Zan finished up the quest from Valgard and headed up to the next quest hub. The big Lebowski references are friggin' awesome. Walter, Donnie, Lebowski, all of their dwarf counterparts are there. Keep that incense away from me though. I don't need to start seeing ghosts from the past. Go ahead and smoke a little of this business here and see what happens. Okay, this is the Echo of uh, Weimar Weimaron, I guess is what it's called. Now I am definitely under the influence of something. Oh my god, the Lich King is over here. Dude, why is the Lich King there? Should I fight him? I'm going to fight the Lich King. He's got 27 million hit points, if I'm not seeing that incorrectly. 27 million hit points. Oh my god, should I go kill him? No. Yeah. Oh, they just kicked me out. Whatever, dude, I just saw some of the craziest stuff I've ever seen. You guys gotta try this. If you do nothing more in this game than take a hit of this incense, I recommend it because the Lich King is standing there. This is ridiculous. Soloing will continue on Tuesdays and Thursdays, so tune in then for the next couple of parts. Meanwhile, down in Utgard Keep, the Project Floor crew took out a pair of bosses named Scarvald and Dalron. This fight's a good one, since it takes some communication between the party members. You don't want the first boss running around immune to damage and owning everyone while you're DPSing down the second one, so it's best to take them down within a few seconds of one another. Ah! Whoa! Jimmy! Oh my god. Jimmy! Alright, let's go. Let's let go. go. Let him die. Let him die. Let him die. Let him die. We're not. We're good. Just take it off. I'm done. Son of a bitch. That's really not frustrating at all. If Jimmy wasn't dead, I would tell you to put him down. This is not gonna happen. Lyle's almost Jimmy, dead. you son of a bitch. Lyle's dead. Somebody had his pet on passive. Passive. The reason it happened. Okay was because I was testing whether or not the button for called pet back was working. Are you sure you weren't testing the attack button? Well, it, actually had... caught, it actually was, turned out to be the attack button, yes. Why don't you test that out in Stormwind or Goldshire? <sighs> Secondary action button. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, everybody group around me and give everybody a little health buff. Wow. Nice. 38%. Doing well, guys. Doing well. Okay, switch okay, to stop. the X. Switching to X. So we just kill X and then we go oh, back and get the Skull. Yep. Skull died. Right, perfect skull. timing. Perfect timing. Perfect, perfect timing. Yes. yes! Good work, everybody. That was just downright easy. That was See downright the difference? easy. Yeah, See that's the difference? the difference. You can catch more Project War next Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, so tune in then while the guys head towards Ingvar the Plunderer. Now let's answer a viewer question. Jerry writes, this is Jerry, the great human warrior, and I got a question for you. I have grinded about 20k honor, and I want to buy that sweet, big-ass mammoth, but is it really worth it to give all of my money to this mount? I mean, does this mount have any more benefits than 100% ground mount speed and allow passengers to ride? I know it's cool, but I don't want to get broke. Sad face. Great question, Jerry. 20k is a ton of gold for a mount. Alex bought one on the beta, so let's see what he thinks. Well, Jerry, the greatest human warrior, or the great human warrior, which is the best name I've ever heard in a very long time. Uh, good question. I personally think that there's a large value to the uh, three-person mammoth mount. Not just that it's 100% speed. Lots of stuff are, or is. Uh, you can have three people on it. It's cool, a little novelty. The real key is you get... Uh, uh, a repair person whenever you need one, and you get regents whenever you need them. And I think that, to me, is a big deal. So I think people are buying these mounts, not just to run around Dalaran, because you can't fly, except at the landing. Um, but they're doing it so that if they're in the middle of a raid, or if they're in the middle of an instance, and they're like, oh, let's just pop out of the instance real quick, I'll pull out my mount, and everybody can get all their regents up, the tanks can all repair, and we can go right back in. Um, you know, without a repair bot, it's a good alternative. But uh, also Charles, our magical editor, did bring up a good point, which is you never want to blow all your cash. Save a little, my friend. Work your way up to like 22, 23,000, so you got at least like two, 3,000 left. The last thing you want to do is get level up or you get like 
Oh, I can buy those new shoulders from the, the guys that I'm now exalted with, but oh, I can't afford it because it's four gold and I have 12 silver. You don't want to be that guy. Nobody likes that guy. Good question. Thanks a lot, Alex. We would love to hear your thoughts on this week's questions. Are any of you planning on picking up the Traveler's Tundra Mammoth? Send an email to editor at projectlore.com or leave a comment at projectlore.com and let us know. That's also where you can leave any questions that you all have for us. Well, that's it for this week's wrap-up. Happy holidays, everybody. Walter, Donnie, Lebowski, all of their dwarf counterfounds are there. What did I just say? <laughs>